Did you know that Pablo Escobar, the most famous drug lord of all time, is the reason hippos exist in the wild outside Africa? You probably didn't, and the story is even crazier. The hippopotamus is widely recognized as Africa's most dangerous land animal, killing at least 500 people every year in clashes with humans. But this probably wasn't the reason why our famous drug lord found them so attractive. Escobar amassed an estimated wealth at around $30 billion, with his meddling cartel the largest, most extensive, and most feared before he was shot dead by law enforcement in 1993. Despite his feared persona, he was an avid animal collector who brought in a host of exotic animals into his own self-built wildlife park. Apart from hippos, other animals brought in included rhinos, elephants, giraffes, ostriches, and a host of other animals. In the 1980s, he smuggled four hippos from a wildlife park in Dallas, Texas into his private zoo in the city of Medellin. People reported that he called this his wildlife park Noah's Ark, referencing the biblical ship that reportedly saved our species. But here is where the problem started. Following the killing of Escobar in 1993, most of the animals in his wildlife park were relocated. However, the hippos were left behind and they eventually escaped into parts of Colombia's major river, the Magdalena River. Due to the abundance of food in their newfound habitat, as well as a lack of predators, the escaped hippos started multiplying at a rapid pace. You see, hippos can reach sexual maturity as low as 5 years and are capable of reproducing on a yearly basis. Those four hippos in 1983 are now estimated to be at least 100 today, with some estimates almost double that number. The Colombian government, once passive about the hippo problem, are not taking it lightly anymore. In 2022, they declared the hippopotamus an invasive species, and there have been different talks and meetings on how to get rid of them due to their effect on native wildlife. Suggestions have ranged from shooting them to euthanasia all the way to chemical castration. The politics is a fierce one, as many activists have rallied round the hippos. One thing is for sure, the hippos will keep multiplying as long as nothing is done, and perhaps with time, they may be embraced as a truly native Colombian species. As always, kindly support my channel by liking, commenting, and hitting that subscribe button. Keep watching out for my videos as I bring you the best of African wildlife to the world.